What's going on, CBC Mustang fans? You are now tuned in to Behind the Coach's Desk with your host, me, Ken Prophet. And today, we're going to be talking to AD and women's basketball coach, Lyle Middleton. We're going to be talking about the girls' season this year, how he feels about conference play, and how they're looking this year. So, hey, tuned in. Lyle Middleton, head women's basketball coach, athletic director. This is my 16th season at Central Baptist College. Right. So, Coach, uh, for preseason for the basketball team, uh, what would you say the team chemistry has been like for the girls? It's been good. Uh, you know, the girls are competing every day, trying to uh, develop their skills, ball handling, uh, learning our offense, uh, learning, understanding the defensive side a little bit better. Um, so, as of right now, you know, we've been working out for about five weeks, uh, trying to develop some of our offensive scheme, and, and we're looking good. You know, I really. I really think this, this group has a chance to, to do well. All right. So, Coach, what goals have you set for yourself this season as the coach, and what goals have you set for the team? You know, the goals are always comparable to what everybody expects. You always want to win a conference championship uh, and try to make it to the national championship. Uh, what I try to get our girls to understand is that uh, set goals high uh, and work hard to achieve them. And, and with this group, you know, I don't really put numbers on how many wins. Uh, I just think we go out and compete every night and do the, the job that we can. Wins are going to come. Um, but I say ultimately we want to we want to try to get back to the conference uh, tournament again, try to win a conference championship and make it to the national tournament. All right. Uh, what are some expectations you have uh, for your, your girls this season and how do you feel about the conference play this season? Uh, as work has uh, been ongoing. Um, you know, we, we really strive to be a better defensive team. I think sometimes too many players uh, emphasize offense first. Uh, but with this group, we got a little more speed, uh, size. You know, we're a little stronger in that, in that area. Uh, we've added a couple of new shooters. So I think overall, the team looks good that I feel we can, we're gonna achieve some of the goals that we are gonna set forth as far as making the conference tournament. Um, you know, we're in a tough conference. Uh, polls come out. Uh, Free Hardman's uh, ranked number one again. Um, Columbia is in the top ten. Lyon College, I think, is ranked, you know, around 20th. Uh, but you still have William Woods and Linwood Belleville that's, that's still, you know, strong and deep. Uh, and, and, you know, we talk about taking care of our controllable business, uh, you know, when the games you're supposed to. Uh, the ones that are going to be tougher, try to get the home wins and try to sneak a few road games. Uh, but you know, I think they're, you know, we, we're, we're, I think we're ready for this conference run. Mm -hmm. So, coach, 16 seasons at this point uh, in your coaching career, what would you say your coaching philosophy is? Do everything you can that you can control. Uh, you know, your your body language, your actions, your effort. Uh, you can't force any teammate or you can't make any decisions outside yourself so you know that's my coach philosophy is uh, compete every day the best of your ability um, and, and leave it on the floor you know be a, be a great teammate uh, be a great leader and, and not everybody can but we've got a few that I think can step up to that but uh, I just think you know put everything that you have access or control of leave it out there and, and if we do that we're going to be all right. All right, what should fans uh, expect this season when it comes to your players and competing this year? Uh, an exciting group of girls. Uh, we're a little faster. Our, our chemistry's been good. You know, kids are working hard uh, together, competing. Uh, but we'll have a little bit better inside presence. Um, like I said, we added a few shooters, so I think we're going to be able to shoot the ball with most teams. Uh, and our defense intensity is going to be up. I mean, we're going to we're going to try to press. Uh, you know, for for. 40 minutes if we can't, uh, but we're, we're going to get we're going to get after defensively. So, coach, if I say uh, Mustang pride, what does that mean to you? You know, each coach has a different uh, perspective of Mustang pride. Um, I just want our kids to represent the institution to the best of their ability. I want them to glorify God uh, in every action that they do, um, and I want them to you know to to be supportive of each other um, and from a coaching standpoint. You know, I'm the leader. Uh, I've, I've got to set that example, and and I've got to hold them accountable, and I got to hold myself accountable. So I think Mustang Pride is just uh, being as uh, a strong believer, strong competitor, a strong uh, 
um, team oriented group and you know just just show our blue white and gray colors that hey we're going you're going to get everything out of us every night last question coach uh, why should fans come out and support the program this year you know we come off a 17 to 12 season last year we returned you know six or six players that played you know a lot of minutes uh, we've got five new transfers in. I think it's going to be exciting even more. And we had a good fan base uh, last year, and, and I think it's just going to be even better this year with our with our athleticism and you know the just the kids, the character that we have. Uh, so you know, I, I think we we're, we're going to put a good product on the floor. Well, Coach, I appreciate you, and I uh, look forward to what you guys got going on this season. Good luck to you. All right, thank you. Go, Lady Mustangs. What's going on, CBC Mustang fans? So, hey, listen, if you guys have really been enjoying the Behind the Coach's Desk with myself and the Mustang Man with our SID, Eric, just make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube page. That way, every time we put something up new, you're going to get a notification. Also, make sure you're friends with us on Facebook. We do live streaming. So this fall, we have soccer and volleyball going on. If you have not caught any of the games, you can go back and watch some of our past games on our Facebook page. And basketball and the rest of the season right around the corner. And we're going to be live streaming those events at home as well. So make sure you're on our Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We're all over the place. So be part of the family. And hey, let's go Mustangs.